snowiest Christmas ever. It was almost Christmas. The bear's cabin twinkled with decorations. All around the tree, presents waited to be unwrapped, and the fire crackled cozily. Everything was perfect, except for one thing. Please let there be snow this Christmas, squeakled Button, pointing at her book. Oh yes, Mungo cried, all fluffy and soft for Santa's sleigh to land in. Papa laughed. Don't worry, cubs, I'm sure snow is on the way. But there was no snow at bath time. Then, at bedtime, something twinkled against the window. Button took a peek. It's snowing, grass button. Yay, cheered Mongo. Papa gave his excited bears a squeeze. I wish it would snow forever, Button yawned sleepingly. All through the night, the snow got deeper and deeper and deeper. The next morning, something big fell through the mail slot. Plop. It was a mound of snow. Ooh, Button whispered. Oh my, explained Papa. I've never seen snow do that before. Snowball fight, cheered Mongo, hurling a pawful at Button. Squirreling, Papa aimed one back, but her snowball hit Papa instead. Why don't you play outside, chuckled Papa. I'll make breakfast. But when the cubs opened the door, an avalanche of white tumbled in. Flump. Wow, ooh, I have a great idea, grinned Mungo, and he began to roll a ball of snow around the floor. The snowball grew and grew. We need a carrot, Papa, called Mungo. For breakfast, replied Papa. No, it's for the snowman, laughed Button. Oh my, an indoor snowman. Let's clean this up before he melts into an enormous puddle, explained Papa. The snowflakes drift down all day long. More snow, more snow, sang the baby bear cubs. Just then, there was a rumble from the chimney. Is that Santa already? Axe button. Fluff. A humongous pillow of snow plunged down the chimney, and the fire went out. Oh no, grumbled Papa. Now this really is too much snow. If the chimney is blocked, how will Santa deliver our presents? Mungo cried. It's all my fault, sobbed Buddy. I wish it would snow forever, and now this has happened. Don't worry, comfort Papa, gathering up Button in his big bear paws. We'll help Santa get through. We could use the broom, Mungo suggested. Papa squeezed into the snooty chimney and pushed the broom up as far as he could. But even on tiptoe, he couldn't reach the top. So the bear cubs climbed up onto Papa's shoulders and with a wriggle and a heave, the broom popped up. I can see stars, squeak button. Phew, chuckled Papa. I think we've saved Christmas. After a nice bath and three bears covered by the fire, are you sure Santa will come, mumbled button? Of course, grinned Papa. The snow had stopped falling at least, at last, and the forest looked as glittery as the pictures in Button's book. And while the bears slept soundly, Santa climbed down the chimney to leave them the perfect present, a sled. Cheered the bear cubs the next morning, just right for the snowiest Christmas ever. The end.